Why can't you use cameras left handed? So why can't you use cameras left handed? <laughs> it's sort of an odd question, but I bring it up because the other day I tenderized my tendon. <laughs> I've got a tear in it. So now my right arm, my right hand, isn't anywhere near as uh, effective as it normally is. And I've got a bit of a wait while it repairs. And all the cameras are set up for right hand use. People love being able to use a camera one-handed, which is right-handed. So now with my uh, torn tendon, I'm finding things a bit more difficult. But that's a minor point. The main point of this video is one camera, one lens. I've done the X70. Oh. Done the X100B. What about my X-T2 with the kit lens, the 18 to 55? Now I'm choosing the X-T2 because I've had it for years, I used it for years, professionally, it was my main go-to camera. Uh, the kit lens came with it, was so useful that it stayed on it quite a bit. I occasionally swapped it out for the 18-135 to for more reach, or went to the 12mm Samyang uh, for more width. But uh, the kit lens on the X-T2 was fantastic, did a great job. And seeing as I used the X-T2 as a photojournalist, I had to cover all sorts of events, all sorts of genres of photography. It's even done weddings. So it has already proven itself to be a great all-round camera. It's not really limited in what you can do with it. In fact, it's got some advantages over things like the X70 or the X100V. Obvious advantages, it's got two card slots. It's very, very robust. It's weather resistant, probably more so than the X100V. And because I used it so much, I'm very familiar with it. How about the kit lens? Add in the 55. <laughs> it just happens to cover the same focal lengths as the X70, which starts at about 18. And with the uh, control ring, you can change that up to 50. So, same focal lengths basically built into the X70 as on the kit lens with the X-T2. And what about weight? Well, the X70 weighs about 400 grams. The X100V weighs 576. And the X-T2 with the kit lens, 835 so more than twice as much weight as the X70. Now 835 grams for a camera body and lens is really nothing. <laughs> Unless you're injured and then it can be a bit of a big deal. That's also a consideration. But really, unless you want something very small and stealthy, the X-T2 with the 18 to 55 kit lens will cover a huge amount of uh, photographic genres and capability so if you just want a one camera one lens setup the X-T2 with the kit lens is the most versatile of the three systems I've looked at so far physically it's far more capable than the X-70 it's still more rugged and more reliable uh, and has the two card slots over the X-100V and even though it's bigger than those two it's still smaller than a DSLR and is an excellent choice if you just want one camera. Get the X-T2 mirrorless kit lens, that'll do you really well. 
Oh yeah, there's another obvious uh, advantage of the X-T2, video. <laughs> the X-T2 is my go-to video camera. Just about all my YouTube videos are filmed with the X-T2, sit there on a tripod. It has far more video capability than I use, so it never uh, lets me down by not being able to do what I want. My requirements are pretty simple with, with YouTube. The other thing about cameras, the hybrid ones that can do photography stills as well as video is you know they're taking video seriously if you open the port and it's got a 3.5 mil mic jack if it's got a 2.5 mil mic jack then sorry they're just not taking video seriously it's an afterthought they're not really encouraging you to do it the xt2 has a 3.5 mic jack because it takes video seriously you don't need adapters to do really 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 basic stuff like getting sound into your camera so yeah the xt2 as a one camera one lens combination <laughs> ticks all the boxes it's fantastic if all you're worried about is your image on the street looking the hipster then okay go for the x100b but for practical use and all around capabilities the xt2 with a kit lens <laughs> will actually walk all over these yeah the xt2 although it is bigger than the uh, x100b's or the certainly the X70, it actually does more, it has more capabilities, it can do more than these cameras can. And uh, if you've only got one camera, then you want it to do as much as possible <laughs> and do it really well, which the X-D2 does. There you go, they're my thoughts. But uh, yeah, whatever you got, pick it up, take it for a walk and have some fun. Bye.